Hi, I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt, and this is the Weekly Dirt. Hey, if you want to stay current and up to date on what's going on here in our metal detecting community, hit that subscribe button. We'd love to have you here as part of the family. Hey, whether it's metal detecting finds, metal detecting channels, metal detecting videos, or a metal detecting compilation you're looking for, I have it all for you right here on the Weekly Dirt. I'm going to tell you about some cool finds, introduce you to some great channels, and tell you about events and giveaways going on right here in our community. Let's get going. Hey, I'm gonna start things off with my first segment I'm calling Whole of Rosie. That's right. Check it out this week from Local Metal Detecting. I'm telling you, he was on the Roosevelt Dime Spill that you wouldn't believe. Check this out. From Local Metal Detecting, watch this. So far, I think it's a 41 wheat. Just barely made this, 1964 silver, Roosevelt. Punch is really paying off for me. Second silver. Wow, another 1964. Awesome. That's two right here in a short little bit. Holy moly, I can't believe it. I don't remember when the last time I had a four silver day was. Another Roosevelt. I'm happy to have it. You're kidding me. Another 1964. This is unbelievable for me. Fourth. Roosevelt in this little area. You are kidding, another 1964. Four 1964 Roosevelts. There's something silver in there. Uh, let me get it out. It is another Rosie. Unbelievable, another 1964 in great condition. Got another silver Roosevelt and another 1964. I think this is nine. Of course, a 1964. It's like I dinged that one though. This is getting downright comical. I am just in utter disbelief. So definitely in a Roosevelt. I'm gonna guess a 64. Right now I'll be more surprised if it wasn't. Another 1964. Thought my luck had run out and it was going to be that bottle cap. But another 1964. All right, I'm about back to the car. This is number 20, I think. And yes, 1964. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 19. I don't think I missed one, but... 19 silver dimes. Wow, amazing hunt. Hey, have you ever seen so many Rosies coming out of that single area like that? That is just amazing. And they were all 64s. What are the odds of that, man? Incredible. You're right. You probably will never do that again in your lifetime. Amazing hunt with all those silvers. Congratulations to Local Metal Detecting. Links down below to his channel. Go over there, check him out. And say, man, saw you on the Weekly Dirt. Amazing spill. Great job. Local Metal Detecting. Go check them out. Hey, my buddy Rob over at FL Thunder, digging with Rob is having a giveaway. Links down below to that. Head on over there, follow all the rules, and good luck. FL Thunder, digging with Rob. Go check it out. Hey, let's go check in with the Copper Poppers. That's right, they were on an incredible hunt and pulled the find that many of us would like to find. Check this out from the Copper Poppers. Watch this. Mark your calendars. On April 9th at 8 p.m., the Copper Poppers will be guests on Relics Radio. Make sure to tune in. No way. He's chilling. He's just chilling right there. It's got a hole in it. Uh, looks to be a matron. <laughs> nice, dude. Ba Boom. She's chunky. I'll get some cleaned up pictures of it. Yeah. Cool man, congrats. There it is. is there dude. Yes. Oh yes. My gosh, dude. Yes. I called, oh my gosh, I called so it. I called it. I called it, dude. I called it. Dude. It's it's gotta be a Morgan. Look it's got it to is, be a dude. Morgan. Look at the chunky ring. Uh, Are you ready? Uh, oh my gosh. Oh my it's god! It's a Morgan, dude. Oh it's a Morgan. Gosh. 18, hold on. Holy hold on. Wow. 
Oh my god. 1879. No. <laughs> It's a Morgan, oh dude. My I can't believe it. Oh, oh my God, dude. A Morgan dollar. Oh a Morgan dollar, oh dude. My <laughs> oh my God, it's a Morgan dollar. Oh my God, it's in beautiful shape. Wow. Oh my God. See, a Morgan dollar. I never thought. I never thought. Wow. Oh, congratulations, this is insane, dude. dude. This is crazy. Never thought I'd find wow, it. Wow, a Morgan dollar. Oh, Feel my God. That, that thing's so heavy. A Morgan dollar. Give me some, bro. Oh, let's get some mo. Wow, amazing find. A Morgan Dollar, you kidding? Just a huge piece of silver. Congratulations to the Copper Poppers this week. Links down below to their channel. You can go over there and check them out. Give them a big thumbs up. Give them a bunch of support. And I'll talk to you guys a little later this week. Go check them out, the Copper Poppers. Hey, and Travis over at Treasures and Adventures with Travis is having a cool giveaway. Links down below to that. Go over there and check it out. It's giving away a cool little ring. Head on over there, watch the video, and do what you got to do to get involved in that one. It's a good one. From Treasures and Adventures with Travis. Go check it out. Sometimes finds come along that just bother the mine. How about Knight's Templar artifacts? Are you kidding me? Let's check it out this week. From Damage Control DMG as he found some incredible artifacts from the Knight's Templars. Check this out. Check this out. I gotta take my glove off for this. Check that out. You recognize that from the last video? Do you recognize that? Oh <laughs> yes guys. Oh be careful. It's the uh the belt chain uh sword belt chain keeper. Alright, so here's the crown on the top, and then it's got a gauntlet that holds the chain together and the rest of the chain would be on the bottom. Uh this this area would slide through the belt and then the chains would come down got a picture of all that I'll show you we can now call this a successful hunt guys oh oh there it is there it is yes do you see it right here right here here's the whole chain my phone's blowing up I already put this on Facebook and everything uh, man yes guys yes oh man that is exciting got an area where I haven't made it all muddy yet I want to be able to show you this here for those that didn't see the last video where we found the first part of this. See, check that out. All right, Christian cross. There's a dove on the top. Oh, there's another Christian cross. Uh, <laughs> well, we might only have one of these to show you. All right, now this is getting ridiculous. I really feel like I'm digging on Oak Island. Look at this in the swamp. More Templar treasure <laughs> check this out those crosses the Maltese crosses otherwise known as Templar crosses there's those wash these off here ain't that something started off real slow today but really picking up it's insane that is absolutely insane all right I gotta find something to wash this off I'm shaking oh man it's a Templar plate. Is it? Oh. What does it say? It's got the Templar. Is it the Templar motto? Yes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> it's the Templar belt buckle plate. You gotta be kidding me. Oh man, you got the change, you got those all wrapped up in a couple different videos I watched, and then you pulled the belt plate. 
Great job, awesome job. Everyone head on over there, go check out the entire video. I couldn't capture it all. They also found some other really cool artifacts, but go give them a look. Damage control, DMG, awesome job guys, awesome job. Hey, who wants to get into some magnet fishing? I'm telling you, J3B up in Canada is giving away a cool brute magnet. You can head over to the channel. I'll put the link down below to the giveaway. Go check it out, follow the rules, and good luck to you. If you want to get into some magnet fishing, it's a great giveaway. Go get involved, check it out. J3B, go give them a look. Hey, I featured him a few weeks ago and I have to feature him again here because he came upon an incredible discovery in the woods. Check it out this week from Depth Spader. Watch this. It could be a large scent. Oh yeah, that's a largey. Okay folks, this is kind of what I'm more after today. Some relics. We got us a cool old knife here. Oh, that's a pretty cool old little pocket knife. Okay folks, so... I think I found an old purse or something in the ground there. There's still stuff in the hole, but there's a really deteriorated leather product here. And it had a wheat in it. Got this old Revlon Inc. New York milk glass. Old mirror. I'm going to guess it was a lady's purse. We got this interesting looking thing. It's pretty shiny. Hmm. That's pretty cool. It's a pin of some sort. Then there's this little thing. It almost looks like gold. This little thing looks like a little piece of gold, man. Holy smokes, I don't know what that is, but that looks like gold. Wiping up really nice. It's got something on it. We'll have to check that out. It looks like a tiny little gold coin. What else we got in here? Uh, some kind of old ID maybe? Old Texaco, oh, oh, look. There's another one. Oh, I swear that looks like gold, man. That looks like gold. There's another one in between the cards. Too big to be a wallet. Oop, there goes something. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. I don't know what they are, but they sure are shining like gold. These sure are shining like gold. This pin, it's the uh, National Federation Business Professional Women's Club. I didn't even realize it, but this is 14 karat gold, this pin. Or 1865, sorry. Not 1865 gold, one peso little coin. It's tiny. I also got, much bigger, this 1909 Turkish 25 Kurish, sweet little gold coin. Also got this 1871, beautiful shape, beautiful shape, 1871 American half dollar gold coin. Man, that thing looks like brand new. Well, you know, we're always hunting for those gold coins and we'll take them anywhere we can find them. Congratulations, man. Incredible. Head on over to his channel. Watch that whole video. You'll find out that he tried to reach out to the owner and tried to return these items. He just couldn't find them. I think they were in the ground an awful long time. That's what I think. But amazing discovery. Who would ever thought that you're going to find gold coins in an old satchel or purse in the woods like that? Just incredible. So congratulations. Great find there. Depth Spader. Everyone head on over there. Give them some support. Links down below. Hey, are you in the UK? I have to tell you, Suffolk Sifters having a 1500 sub giveaway, giving away some great items, I'm telling you, but only to UK residents. Links down below to that. Head on over there. If you're in the UK, you want to get involved in it, Suffolk Sifter, go give them a look. Congratulations, Steve. Great job. Hey, if you like the finds and the channels and coming to one place to catch all your wrap ups, I'm telling you, this is the place to do it every Sunday. Hit that subscribe button right there. We'd love to have you here as part of the family and check out these videos. I picked them out for you. Everyone, stay safe out there. I'm DK with Adventures in Dirt, and I'll see you next Sunday.